The death toll from the Hawaii wildfires has now climbed to 93, and that number is expected to keep growing. Crews have only searched 3% of the destruction for the hundreds of people who are still unaccounted for. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen reports from Maui. As the death toll rises, authorities in Maui say the effort to find and identify the dead is still in the early stages. Cadaver dogs are sifting through the rubble of thousands of buildings burnt to the ground, mostly homes. Uh, we're bringing in more. We're bringing in more teams and more dogs so we can um, speed up that process as much as we can. This man says he's searching for missing family members. We've been to a lot of hotels inside mm -hmm. Lahaina, but none of them are there. Mm -hmm. So we've been to police station. We called Red Cross, anywhere that we can find them, but nothing. Access to Lahaina, the historic town in western Maui that suffered the worst devastation, remains limited. It's closed. Nobody can go in. While many residents are taking shelter at facilities like this community center, people all around Western Maui are telling their stories of survival and loss. I ran out of the car and ran for my life, ran down to the ocean. I was only a quarter mile from the ocean, and they stayed in their car. They died with their dogs and everything. Three of my friends in one car and two dogs died. Bill Weiland's well-known art gallery in Lahaina burned to the ground. He says the building was the first movie theater in the state of Hawaii. He escaped on his motorcycle with only his laptop and passport, leaving his car behind to be consumed by the fire. Literally flames behind me. I could feel it burning the back of my neck. And I could see the ambers all on, in front of me. They were swirling around because there were like 70 mile an hour winds. It was in, insane. The investigation continues into the cause of the fire, and questions remain about why Hawaii's warning sirens were not activated to alert tourists and locals. Jeff Nguyen, CBS News, Maui. Just incredible destruction, and we're hearing tonight fire crews are still battling flare ups across five square miles in Lahaina.